You always wanted to know which is the right temperature for baking sourdough bread. Here I have four loaves baked at four different temperatures. Stay watching this video. Gluten Morgen everyone and welcome to another baking science and mystery. Mystery video. Today we'll be talking about baking, but not just baking, I mean the baking temperature, which is quite an issue when you are baking bread. So there are many temperatures in which we could bake our bread. It depends on the oven. So today's experiment is to bake four identical breads at four different temperatures. The first one will be baked at room temperature. When I mean room temperature, I am talking about an oven which has not been preheated. It's totally off. Then I'll turn the oven on and preheat it to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll rise the temperature a little bit to 220 degrees Celsius, which is 428 degrees Fahrenheit. And at last, we'll take it to the maximum temperature, which is 250 degrees Celsius, which is 482 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the temperature that I usually bake my loaves. So let's start with the experiment of today. Here we have our first volunteer, which is this beautiful loaf of bread who has been sleeping the whole night in the fridge. And here is my Dutch oven, which is not yet hot, so I can hold it with my hands. Okay, room temperature. 84.6 Fahrenheit. Now time to check the bread temperature. 43.9, really cold. And here's my oven, which is still not preheated. So let's check the temperature too. 81.5, excellent room temperature to start baking. Okay, everything check. So as this is a scientific experiment, let's proceed. Time to start Baking. And this is the formula. I'm loving this part because it's not yet too hot so I can do it with my own hands. Okay, let's go. Now that the bread and the Dutch oven are both in the oven, it's time to turn it on. I'll preheat the oven at 180 degrees centigrade, which is 356 degrees Fahrenheit. So now the bread is being baked as the oven is preheating to the temperature that will be baking the next bread. Okay, now it's time to wear the gloves and take of the lid. Ta -da! I told you there was some mystery here <laughs> and you didn't believe me. Now I give it 25 more minutes. So here we have our first bread already cooked. It was in the oven for 45 minutes, which is the time that it usually takes to bake a normal bread. But the test is this, so I had to take it out of the oven. I know it looks a little bit pale, it's a little bit white, but this is an experiment. So I had to stop cooking it at 45 minutes. Of course, I could have made it more time in the oven and finish it like a regular bread, but that was enough, so we'll talk about this bread later. Now we have the oven preheated at 356 degrees Fahrenheit, but let's check it with the gun. 353, it's okay, time to bake. Time to bake the second loaf at 356 degrees Fahrenheit.
20 minutes and we'll remove the lid too. Time to remove the lid. Let it bake for 25 more minutes. Mm -mm, not that good. Oh, yes! And here's the second loaf. Better color. Okay, we let it cool down. And continue. 427 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect temperature. The experiment must go on. Twenty minutes and I'll remove the lid. Wow. Twenty-five more minutes and let's go. Bread out of the oven. Wow, I let it cool down here for a few minutes. I'm taking this back into the oven. Good. Now, time for the final temperature. 482 degrees Fahrenheit. Third bread out of the oven. It looks much better and it's super light. So, let's check them all together at the end of the video. But before we bake the last bread of today, let's check the temperature. Okay, 477. Good temperature. Let's bake. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home? Then I have the solution. I have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter, how to knead, shape, ferment, and bake your sourdough bread how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. Okay, let's go. Oh. Twenty minutes, as always, and we remove the lid. Ah. Time to remove the last lid of the day. Twenty-five more minutes, and we are done. We still have five more minutes left. But the color of the bread is already what I am looking for. But the test says that it's 25 minutes, so we'll bake it five more minutes. I'm sorry. Bye bye. Oh, okay. Wow. Good. Here's the last loaf of the day. Beautiful, nice color. Good. Okay, I let it cool down for a few minutes and then we analyze the four loaves. Okay, so finally here we have the four loaves baked at four different temperatures. Starting on my left side with the one at room temperature and this one baked at maximum temperature. The first thing that we see are the colors, they are totally different. So on my left side I have this pale one which maybe needed five more minutes and on my right side we have this dark one which maybe those five minutes exceeded a little bit more but this is one of my favorites. So, another thing really important is the volume of each one. Here we have the one which is a little bit more flat. It's not flat at all, but it's a little bit more flatter and the size goes increasing one by one as we heat it up the oven till we get this last one which is the larger one and darker one. 
Okay, what I have to do now is to open them and check the crumb and of course taste them. Nice crumb, I thought it would be a little bit undercooked, but it's okay. Here's a little bit moist, but it's already cooked. Nice crumb. Of course, five or minutes would have been much better, but maybe it's good for toast. Let's cut a slice and taste it. Okay, it tastes really good. I thought it wouldn't be that good, but it's okay. The crumbs taste somehow chewy, a little bit more soft and really creamy. What I feel at the end is just a little bit more acid. I don't know why, because it shouldn't be, but it's okay. Let's continue. And here's the second loaf, baked at 356 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit better than the first one. It is really well baked. The crumb is airy, no big pockets. It's humid, chewy, but the crust, there's not much crust. It's thin, but not crispy at all. Not the best temperature, but we are getting better bake after bake. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Hmm, it's good. It's a little bit better than the first one. It's not that acid. It's strange the other thing about the first loaf. It's okay, the crust, there's almost no crust, no crispy at all, but it's good when you have some problems eating darker and stronger crust. So maybe this is your kind of bread. The crumb is correct, perfect, airy, creamy, it's, it's a decent bread. Okay, let's go with the third one at 428 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm really loving this bread. I don't want to slice it up. Now we're talking. Okay, nice crumb with big air pockets here. Now it looks more normal. We have a beautiful crust and yes, crispy. And it is moist, it's good, it's well cooked and I'm liking it. This is good temperature. Okay, let's slice it and taste it. Now it's totally different. This golden crust is another thing. It changes the game. The crumb is humid, it's tender, very chewy, but this crust is a crust. Trust me. Now the last bread of the day. One of my favorites. I think so. Check this crumb. I told you so. Okay, I really love this kind of crumb. It has bigger air pockets everywhere. And take a look at the crust. It's crispy, wow. And thin at the same time. The crumb is humid too, but it's well cooked. And as I told you, this is my kind of crumb. Okay, let's give it a try. Five minutes later. Okay, sorry, it was a big bite. I really love this kind of bread. This is my favorite kind of crust. That's why I bake bread every day. It's a little bit more nutty. It's not burned, which goes perfect along with the crumb, which is also moist, airy, very chewable. This is my kind of bread. I'm just gonna wait. Mm. So we've seen the four loaves baked at four different temperatures. The first thing that we saw is the color. The color, they are really different from the first one with the oven just turned on and with the last one with a very high oven. Then what we also saw is the volume. It went growing in size from the first one till the last one. In my opinion, the best loaves were the third and the fourth one. The first one, I think we just need five or maybe 10 more minutes, but starting on the second and then the third and the fourth are the best. Then it depends on you. What kind of bread do you like the most? What kind of crust 
do you like? Maybe darker, maybe a little bit more lighter, and also the taste. Maybe you want it more creamy or maybe a little bit more nutty. So now it's up to you. Try with your own oven and see which is the perfect temperature for you. So I think you have enjoyed this video, learned something. Please like it, share it, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.